We're going to create a PowerPoint add-in using, using Visual Basic. The first point is to create an empty presentation. Just say file, uh, new and blank presentation. Once you have this in this presentation, add whatever macros we need. So I can go to the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, go to file options. And uh, in customize ribbon, there would be a developer on the right hand side. If this is disabled, then you won't have a developer tab like this. But if <clears throat> you go to file options and go to customize ribbon and select the developer tab, then that would appear here. Uh, in the developer tab, go to Visual Basic. The shortcut key for this is Alt F11, and that will give you a new uh, Visual Basic editor. In the presentation that you are editing, right click and insert a module in which you can type in a piece of Visual Basic code. The code begins with subroot sub for subroutine. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it, uh, <clears throat> we've got to remember the name of this. I'm going to call it, let's say, mm, message uh, or show message, let's say. Open bracket, close bracket, that's important. And within this, you can put in whatever Visual Basic code you want. We are not going to cover that. Let's say this puts in a message box with the text, um, this is from a macro. Having done this, if I want to test it, I can play and it says, okay, that's, I got the syntax wrong. It's not message box, it's MSG box. Now let's stop it and test it again. That works. It says, this is from a macro. <clears throat> I'm going to close the window. Uh, now, if I want to test this macro, I can go to macros, click on the macro that we just created and run it. So that shows this is a macro. That's the first step. I'm going to save this uh, <clears throat> anywhere. Mm. Let's save it in my kill me folder as macro or add in test. <clears throat> now that I've created it, the next step uh, is to add a ribbon to this so that you know we can create a custom ribbon like this for uh, our add in. This can be done using a software called Microsoft OfficeX Ribbon Editor. It's on GitHub. So if you search for OfficeX Ribbon Editor, and the link is also going to be there as part of the notes for this show, uh, you'll have a releases section which has all of the downloadable options. I downloaded the MSI file. There was a warning. I ignored that warning and went ahead and installed it. So the OfficeX Ribbon Editor what this allows you to do is open a PPT file. So in our case, I stored it as add in test dot pptm. Now in this, we can add any custom XML. So specifically, I'm going to say insert office 2010 plus custom UI part. And that gives me a blank file, which is called custom UI 14 dot XML. In this, we can use something called open office ribbon, something or the other. Uh, <clears throat> well, there is an XML format that can create ribbons and that's available by searching for the office fluent ribbon open XML format. This link will also be there in the show notes. I'm going to copy this text and paste it uh, <clears throat> inside this file. Let me talk through what this does. <clears throat> it has a tab called uh, My Tab. I'm going to rename it to uh, Office Add-in, in which there is a group. I'm going to say uh, Messages here as a label, in which there is a label. And this, I'm going to say Show Message. Uh, this is actually a button. We can add images to the button as well. On action, I want it to run a macro. The macro's name was show message. So I'm going to just type that as the message. So any XML that we type here and save automatically gets saved into the PowerPoint file. So I'm closing that in PowerPoint, saving it. So it's been saved. Close it. Now let's uh, reopen PowerPoint. The same add in test. No, no, this one. Close this. Don't save it. Uh, the add in test pptm and you'll see the office add in getting added here uh, note that i've saved this as a pptm file it's a macro enabled file because it had macros there's a security warning here i'm going to enable the content when i click on this office add in 
I can click on the show message and when I click on that it says this is from a macro this is exactly the same macro that we had I can go to the visual basic editor uh, and in the visual basic editor if I change this this is not a macro and close it when I go to the office add in tab and click on show message it says this is not a macro this can be saved as an add-in so if I save this as not a pptm file but a ppam file a powerpoint add-in you'll note that it by default it goes in into the uh, add-ins folder and save it now even if i close let's okay let's close this file now i haven't installed the add-in so powerpoint doesn't have my add-in here but if i go to developer and powerpoint add-ins and add new it shows me the add-in test ppam file which if i select and close you now have the office add-in always in PowerPoint. So let me restart PowerPoint uh, and click Plan Presentation. I now have the office add-in automatically loaded. If I want to make any changes to this office add-in, then I have to uh, select PowerPoint add-ins um, and remove this add-in. Uh, we'll then have to reopen our old PPTM file. The pptm file is editable the ppam file is not directly editable so let's say uh, this is uh, uh, okay let's have another uh, message we'll say show message two um, and this is a second macro let's close this and save it let's open the office ribbon editor again and open the same file and add in test we will add another tab copy paste the same thing but this we'll call it message two and show message two. Oh, okay now this is uh, I, I don't want a second group i just want one more button next to it um button two show message two uh show message two here we'll save this now let's validate if i open the add in test pptm file it has two buttons show message two works show message works great so now we'll save it again as a ppam file uh, same file in fact add in test and it should say it's already there yeah replace it and we'll close it now let's reinstall the uh, ppm file so what i can do is share this ppm file with other people and when they add a new ppm file from any location that gets added as an add-in with both the show message to as well as the show message button.